friends. Thank you so much for joining me for the Healthcare Savings with Diagnosis-Based Assistance Programs webinar. I'm Carla, the Director of User Engagement at NeedyMeds, and before we get started, I'll offer a few tips so you can make the most of the presentation. You can feel free to ask questions at any time by typing them into the questions section of your GoToWebinar control panel. Just know I will reserve answering questions until the end. If I don't get a chance to answer your question, we'll follow up with you by email. Of course, we'll provide the contact information for NeedyMeds and myself at the end. This webinar is being recorded and will be available on the NeedyMeds YouTube channel. And you can find a copy of my PowerPoint slide deck and other materials I thought you'd be interested in in that handout section of your control panel. With this presentation, I'm going to cover what NeedyMeds is, what are the diagnosis-based assistance programs, and how they can help you afford your or save on your health care costs. I'll also share with you other savings resources that you may find helpful, as well as easy ways to stay in touch with us and up to date on healthcare topics. So let's get started with what is NeedyMeds. We're a national nonprofit co-founded over two decades ago by a retired family physician, Dr. Richard Sagel, and his friend, a medical social worker, Libby Overly. That's our mission statement, but simply put, NeedyMeds connects people to programs that will help them afford their healthcare expenses. We do that free and anonymously through our helpline, 1-800-503-6897, and our website, NeedyMeds.org. And one of the most popular and effective ways we help people save on healthcare costs is with our large listing of diagnosis-based assistance programs. Diagnosis-based assistance programs are usually supported by private or government-funded organizations, and they offer financial assistance for medical expenses associated with a particular diagnosis. Usually, this refers to costs outside of medications. It may include helping to cover costs such as medical supplies, medical equipment, testing strips, or even help affording things like wigs, hearing aids, childcare, house cleaning services, help getting a surface animal or assistive technology. Some programs are national in scope, while others are limited to residents of specific states. Some cover one specific diagnosis, such as breast cancer, while other offers help with whole categories, such as all types of cancer. Most have some type of eligibility requirement, usually financial. So, how do you find diagnosis-based assistance programs on our website. Like other needy meds programs, you can find diagnosis-based assistance programs going to needymeds.org and clicking on that healthcare savings tab. That's where a whole bunch of categories will pop up. On the top middle, the center section, you will find our link to diagnosis-based assistance programs. And as you can see over here, you can search for diagnosis-based assistance programs in four ways. You can search very narrowly by the name of the diagnosis or disease. You can search by the area of service. If you know a name of a program, you can also find it like that. And you can search really narrowly by seeing what's available specifically for a diagnosis in a particular region and for a particular service or healthcare expense cover. So let's bear with me, please, while we go ahead and transition out of this PowerPoint to our live site so I can show you how to do it on the NeedyMeds website. So first of all, I'm going to make the screen a little bit bigger. And on, the, on our website, as you can see, it's chock full of information. So I hope you take the opportunity to check this out a little bit further in the future. Here's that healthcare savings tab I was talking about. And right in the middle, there are those diagnosis-based assistance programs. When I click on that, you will also see those options for ways to search. Make the screen a little bit bigger again. And again, you can search by diagnosis, regionally, by the name of the program, or really specifically by the name of the diagnosis of the disease, the region or state it's available in, and for help affording a specific service or 
to cover a specific healthcare expense. Now, I like to demonstrate by using the example of diabetes, since not only is that a common diagnosis in our country, but it's a great example of a diagnosis that requires a lot of expense sometimes in addition to medication. Oftentimes, those living with this diagnosis need help affording expenses such as testing strips, meters, syringes, needles, or sharps, or assistive technology, for example. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that by diagnosis link. And the first, one of the first things that pop up at the top of this page is that A to Z index. That's because the diagnosis-based assistance program category is pretty large. So to make your search easier, we put an e A to Z index so you can click on the first letter of the diagnosis that you're looking for. So I'll go ahead and click on D for diagnosis. Di diabetes, which is the diagnosis we're using, and then we'll scroll down the list of, of diagnoses to find diabetes. And as you can see, it's actually listed a number of times in a bunch of subcategories because diabetes is such a broad category. For the purposes of this, this demonstration, I'm just going to go ahead and click on that general hyperlink for diabetes. So right at the top of this page, you can see that there are currently 87 diagnosis-based assistance programs for diabetes. And I say currently because programs change all the time and new ones are added all the time. So it's a good time for me to actually remind you to regularly check our website. If you're not finding assistance for a specific expense today, excuse me, you may find it at a later time. So let's see what's on our screen now. Hopefully, as, we, as I walk you through it, you'll agree that all of the important information is now on your screen, including the left-hand column, the name of the program, and a hyperlink, if available, a summary of what the program is all about, and the two right columns are the ones you'll be most interested in, the services that the program provides, as well as, and let me make this just a tiny bit smaller, as well as the areas of service. Now, under that areas of service, you can see national popping up first. That's because the area of service means that it will list where you have to reside in our country to be eligible. National means that regardless of where you live in our country, you will be eligible to apply. So we put all of the national programs at the top, and then you can find the rest of the programs listed alphabetically by state. And the column right next to that, the services provided column, lets you know what type of cost assistance they are going to help the patient to afford. Now, a couple of things that you can see pretty clearly right here is that the programs vary greatly in what they can help a patient to afford. Many of them offer help with things like assistive technology or medical equipment. But they may also provide help, for example, getting someone access to a service animal or it, helping with insurance co-payments. The point is you want to check out all of the programs related to the diagnosis because not only may you find something that helps fit the need you're searching for, but you may even find more cost assistance resources that you didn't even know was ex were available. Now, the other thing I wanted to be, bring to your attention, which I think you'll find really useful, is right underneath where the wording is for how many diagnosis-based assistance programs there currently are, you can also find other resources. For example, you can find camps for those living with or caring for someone with di diabetes. You can find educational scholarships for those caring for or living with diabetes. We also have a diagnosis information page on diabetes, which provides more information and resources about this diagnosis. And we also provide all the hyperlinks to other cost savings resources you can find on the needymeds.org website. So hopefully you will agree with me that the diagnosis-based assistance programs are easy to navigate and something that will provide help to you, 
a loved one, a patient, or client. One other thing I want to point out while we're on the website is diabetes is an example of a diagnosis that may require people to self-inject. Yet there are a, li a limited number of options for proper disposal of needles and sharps, which can lead to dangerous situations for the public and workers, causing exposure to a variety of potentially serious diseases. So I'm encouraging you to check out our Safe Needle Disposal website. As you saw, there's a link for it on the left-hand side, and this is where you can find out very easily how and where to responsibly dispose of home-generated sharps. So bear with me while I go ahead and exit back out of these live sites to our PowerPoint presentation so I can share other healthcare cost savings available on needymeds.org, as well as other diagnosis-based assistance programs tips. Now, under that healthcare savings tab, here is a list of categories that will drop down. Now, in addition to those diagnosis-based assistance programs, on the top left, you can also find a link to our patient assistance programs, which provide the most savings for brand name prescription drugs. In that same box, you will also find a link to our $4 generic discount drug program section, which is a great resource for finding generic meds for a discounted price. You may even find your prescription at a price lower than your insurance company, so it's worth checking out. If you're in need of affordable primary and preventive care, search the free low-cost or sliding scale clinic section for convenient locations for medical, dental, mental health or substance abuse clinics. There's actually more than 18,000 clinics nationwide in this category. The coupons, rebates, and more section will connect you to discounted over-the-counter drugs, prescription meds, and medical supplies with just a quick click of your mouth. In the top middle is those diagnosis-based assistance programs. My mouse is hovering over that. And then right above that are those diagnosis information pages that I shared with you a moment ago. Those are particularly helpful for people that have been newly diagnosed. Underneath that, you will find our COVID-19 Resource Center, which is full of programs for those who have experienced financial hardships and are still struggling with healthcare expenses due to the coronavirus. Now, we've been told by many needy meds users that oftentimes getting to and from a doctor or specialized facility can cause a financial burden. So you can look for a program that can help you afford medically related transportation expenses under the assistance with medical transportation costs category. We also have categories that provide, as you may remember, I pointed this out on our diagnosis-based assistance programs pages, um, that provide camps, retreats, recreational programs, and educational scholarships for those living with a particular diagnosis or caring for someone who is. The government program section is another important destination to search for government-funded healthcare programs in your state. And don't forget about the Needy Meds drug discount card, which can help you to save up to 80% off prescriptions, it can help you to save on your over-the-counter medications and supplies written as prescriptions. It can be used to save on human equivalent pet meds. And it can also be used to save 40% off medical equipment. So when you have time, please check out this website and these additional sections of our site further. Now I'm going to move on to offer you some more tips about diagnosis-based assistance programs. First, look for your specific diagnosis, such as breast cancer. If your specific diagnosis isn't listed, then check under the general category for your diagnosis, such as cancer or chronic, serious, or life-threatening illness. You can also look for programs that may help you with a specific need that you may have. For example, if you have breast cancer and chemotherapy has caused hair loss, Look for a category labeled hair loss, chemotherapy induced in the diagnosis list. Check to see if we have cost savings programs for all your other healthcare expenses 
or medications. Alleviating other costs may free up your budget so you can afford your other healthcare needs. I mentioned a couple of times we want to stress to check out those diagnosis-based assistance programs. Um, excuse me, diagnosis information pages where visitors can search for cost savings programs related to their diagnosis, including those patient assistance programs. If you don't find a diagnosis-based assistance program, check the coupon, rebates, and more section as well to be connected to discounted over-the-counter drugs, prescription meds, and medical supplies. As I said, please be sure to visit our site regularly as we update programs all the time. And finally, our expert call center counselors are available at 1-800-503-6897. They are here from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time because we're located in Massachusetts. And we do also have Spanish speaking counselors. A few other things I want to point out. On the top right of our homepage, you will see a bunch of icons. That's where you can find links to our Facebook and Twitter pages. Next to those is our YouTube channel. Please subscribe so you'll be notified when new content is added. You can also find Needy Meds on LinkedIn. Next to the LinkedIn icon, you can find our link to our blog, The Needy Meds Voice. We have a really talented editor and writer who handles the Needy Meds voice, and he regularly puts up timely and provocative pieces on healthcare-related topics. So please check it out and subscribe. You can also follow Needy Meds on Pinterest and Instagram. Now, we talk a lot about that healthcare savings tab on NeedyMeds.org, but right next to that is the education tab. This is where you can find our subscription services, where you can print materials such as our drug discount cards and brochures, and sign up for email alerts about program changes. You can also print many of our most popular brochures because we have them in electronic version. Under that education tab in the middle, you can also check out and sign up for upcoming webinars, sign up to receive our monthly e-newsletter vitals, and learn about becoming a Needy Meds volunteer ambassador. If you represent a group or organization, check out how Needy Meds can create a free customized drug discount card with your business's name and logo. You can also learn about other partnership opportunities here. So I do see some questions coming in, which is great. And for those of you that forgot and do have questions, you can go ahead and type them into that questions section of your GoToWebinar control panel. I'm going to take a few moments to answer the questions that are coming in. And as I do, I want to leave up our contact information as promised. If you are interested in ordering a bulk supply of our drug discount cards and brochures, drop an email to my friend and colleague Alana at alana at needymeds.org. Any questions regarding this webinar or if you're interested in partnering with Needy Meds and have joined us for a group and organization, you can drop me an email as well at Carla with a C, Carla at needymeds.org. There's our helpline again on the bottom left, 1-800-503-6897, open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And please check out needymeds.org, not only to familiarize yourself with it, but regularly check back because, as I said, we add new programs and update the ones we have all the time. So the first question coming in, what happens if I can't find a diagnosis-based assistance program? So that's a great question. First, I would recommend checking out the coupons and rebate section. You can look for discounted over-the-counter drugs, prescription meds, and also medical supplies and medical equipment as long as you have a prescription. If you don't find a program, you can always use a Needy Meds drug discount card to save up to 40% off medical equipment, such as diabetic supplies, splints and braces, catheters, incontinence supplies, mobility devices, bladder control pads, and much more. You can request a card from our website or by giving our counselors a call. And remember, revisit our website. If you don't find a program today, one may be added at a later time. So another question coming in, are there residency requirements for diagnosis-based assistance programs? 
Most of the time, no. Those applying usually just leave need to live in the United States to be eligible. Eligible, But on the diagnosis-based assistance program page for a specific cost savings resource, you will find the eligibility guidelines. So with a quick glance, you'll know if you or the person you're assisting is eligible. Also, the program phone number will be listed at the top of the page. So if you have any questions, reach out to the program directly as opposed to needing it. So we do try to keep the question segment brief. So if you did ask a question and I didn't get the chance to answer it, I will email you or you can always check out our website or reach out to our call center right away, 1-800-503-6897. Oh, let's just get to one more. I'm going to actually sneak in one more question because I didn't see it and I believe it was the first question coming in, so I apologize for that. The question was, can I be notified when new programs are answered? And the answer is yes. Under the subscription center in that ad education tab, um, I pointed out in the last slide, you can sign up for daily or weekly email alerts so you can be notified when there are program changes to diagnosis-based assistance program and those patient assistance programs. So as I said, I do like to keep the question segment brief. Thanks for letting me sneak in that last one. But I will reach out to you if you ask a question that I didn't get the chance to answer. For now, thanks so much for your time. We do hope to see your name pop up in future webinars. Don't forget to follow us and like us on social media. Thanks so much and have a great rest of your day.